Nice. Okay. Good morning. Um, barely. Yeah. Good morning. Barely. Uh, my name is Thomas Nelson, and I'm going to demonstrate super, super briefly how you can um, put a PayPal button on any website that's HTML enabled. I'm not going to have the camera focused on me. I'm going to have it focused on this top screen up here. Uh, so you'll be able to hear me and you'll be able to see the mouse move around. You might not be able to see the things happening on the other screen, but everything that's important I will explain to you. The reason that I'm doing this is that my students have brought to my attention that there are some videos out there that explain this kind of stuff, but they're all super, super complicated. And they shouldn't be super complicated. This is a really, really, really easy thing to do, and it is an easy way to commerce enable any website. Now, the only thing that I can say that is a problem is that if you have some sort of a website platform that does not enable you to use HTML, if you can't put HTML, which is a simple programming language, um, it's what websites are made of is HTML and XML and stuff, but um, if you can't cut and paste HTML into your website and have it actually be uh, active code, then you will have a problem with this. I'm going to demonstrate this on a uh, WordPress enabled website and then uh, maybe later on, uh, I have a student coming by who has a GoDaddy website that uses their site builder. So it's a non-WordPress site. But the important thing is to get to a screen where you can enable HTML. Now, I don't have a lot of time to do this today, so I'm just going to adjust the camera on the fly and then we're going to get started. I've done no prep work for this, so I may stumble through it a little bit. Uh, but I have done this lots of times. I've demonstrated it in class, so it shouldn't be too painful to watch. Okay. Okay, and if autofocus does its job, you should be able to see that screen pretty well. Let's see, when I sit down, yes, I'm out of the way. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to launch a website in WordPress. So I'm going to take a single tab of, I'm using Chrome, which uh, I won't be using for too much longer, but for the moment Chrome will do. And I'm going to go to uh, a site that I already have. And what I'm doing is typing drthomas.com slash WP dash admin. That takes me into the back end of the office, or back end of the website. There's a login screen. I've logged in before, so I can log in uh, because it's remembered my password. Now, um, this is the customized uh, site for WordPress. I'm going to add a new page. And the new page we're going to call um, See, sell my stapler. Okay, we're going to call it sell my stapler. So here's the new page. Sell my stapler. Now, this is a swing line stapler, so I'm going to take a, I'm going to look for a picture of a swing line stapler because I'm using my camera for other things now. We're going to pretend I have a red one. It looks like other people sell these for $24.99. We don't care. We're going to sell ours for $100 bucks because if I have to go out and find one, I want to be able to do that. So there's a picture. I'm going to copy that image and I'm going to paste it in here. So now I have a giant picture of a swing line stapler and I want to sell this for $100. So, um, First thing I need to do is right now I have a uh, I have a picture and a visual what you see is what you get. I want to switch over to text. Text gives me this picture. This is HTML code. Um, so it's got a picture. Now after this picture what I want to put is um, I'm going to switch back to visual and I'm going to put Underneath this, I'm going to put buy this stapler for only 
$100. That way it sounds like a bargain. Okay, now down here is where we're going to put a PayPal button to actually make this happen. For this to work, you have to have a PayPal account. Um, I already have a PayPal account, so we're going to, well, we can, we'll leave that open just in case, but we're going to open up another um, window and we're going to go to PayPal.com. Okay, so PayPal.com, we're going to log in. And again, I've been here lots of times, so I'm logged in. And now that I'm logged in, I'm just going to go to the little question mark down here in the lower left hand corner. And I'm going to hit that button and I'm going to put um, sell button. I'm not sure what makes the button, what, how, how do I edit a buy now button, selling digital good, pay file for political, start accepting payments, uh, okay, ways to receive money. Start accepting payments with PayPal. Detailed guides. Um, what I need is see payment button instructions. Um, create a buy now button. Top thing on there. Step by step on the button pay button creation page. Let's open that in a new tab. Now what I'm going to do because I have multiple monitors is I'm going to take this window here with the instructions and put it out where we can't see it but I can still read it. Uh, that way I can follow along with the instructions at the same time as I'm, um, as I'm doing it. Although I don't think I need the instructions, it's pretty easy. Um, choose a button type. There's buy, shopping cart, buy now, donations, gift certificates, subscriptions, automatic billing. Automatic billing is super awesome. You can charge people every month for stuff. And installment plan. But we're just going to do buy now because that's very easy. So there's buy now. Item name is red swing line stapler. We agreed that the price was going to be one, ooh, 199 that's even better, $100. And we're not going to have, we're not going to have any options, although if you had, if you had um, prices and options, you could put a drop down menu, it's pretty easy. Uh, they're buying a stapler for $100. I'm going to ship it for free, so I'm not going to charge shipping. Uh, tax rate, <clears throat> because this is a private sale and because I'll likely buy the item at retail and sell it, I don't need to charge sales tax again. And there's use your secure merchant account ID. You can fill that out if you want to uh, before you do this and then that will put the money in your, in your checking account. But we're just going to use my primary email address. That's going to send the money directly to PayPal and I'll access it through PayPal. Uh, track inventory, I don't need to track inventory. Customize and advanced features, I don't need that. I just hit create button. Now, when I hit create button, it takes me to a new page with all of this code. Um, now this code, you don't need to worry about what it says. Just copy, select it all, copy it, go back to where add a new buy stapler, and paste the code in. Now, when we switch back to visual, all of that code that we saw should, and it's not. See, this is one of those things. Um, it happens sometimes. Hmm. Has this worked in the past? Text. There's all this text. Okay, so let's cut and let's go back to text and code. Let's hit code. There we go. Okay, so, oh, oh no. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think this might have been in a more recent update. So let's go down here. Let's go to the next line. Sorry, I told you I might stumble a little bit. We're going to hit code. Then we're going to paste that again. I just used control V to paste. And now we'll hit the code button, which should close it. Let's see what happens now when we go to visual. Nothing. Hmm. Well, let's uh, preview this. 
Let's see what it looks like previewed. Not good. Well, I feel like I look stupid now. Okay. So let's go back. Take all this code out. We'll go back to text. I've done this a dozen times. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Let's take this guy out. Okay, so um, in HTML, the backslash code should be at the end, and at the beginning should be code in um, the sideways carrots. Now, let's see if we go visual, if that does anything. That didn't do anything. Text, still not doing anything. Preview now, see if that made any difference. Still no difference. Hey, this is why I don't yell at you guys when I see you have problems, <laughs> because I have problems too. Um, all right, so let's cut all of this out and work through this. Um, more, nope. Oh, okay. Um, visual, let's go back to the generated code and select the code. Why is there not an... Okay. Oops, we don't need to be here, we need to be here. Um, what we want really is to edit HTML. Um, which when we go to text, this looks like HTML. So there's image, but it's not HTML because this is just, um, this has not got any, any references to it. So we need to figure out how to switch this to edit HTML. Um, I don't think this is going to help. No, that's not going to help. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know why this is... Okay, well, there we go. Let's do that and try that. Okay, so we're going to back that out. Go over here to the next line, and we'll try this again. We'll hit code, and then we will paste... Oops, now let's go copy it again. Select code. Copy. Put it in here. It's a lot of stuff. And then close tag. Um, and let's see. Let's save it. Preview it. And there's the buy now button. Okay, so what I did wrong um, earlier was when I was editing the page, um, I needed to hit code and then close tag. So code, put this at the top. Close tag, put the end code at the bottom. Uh, you might have to play around like that, and there might be, you know, a little bit that you have to stumble around until you get it right. But the general idea is that you go to PayPal, PayPal generates the code for you, and you cut and paste it into your website. Obviously, this was not perfect, and this should have been something I could explain in two minutes. And it says I took almost 15, so that was longer than perhaps it should have been. But this does give you an idea. It can be done, and hopefully when we do it later on and do the next one, it'll go a little bit faster. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in, paying attention, and all of that. And I'll see my students in class and the rest of you. I know this was stumbling a little bit, but I hope it was helpful. Thanks. Bye.